So STEM, it's scarce everywhere in the world. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, it's, 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 it's scarce everywhere in the world. So how are you going to guarantee a bachelor's degree to everybody in, in every house? Why, why are you even trying to, to give everybody, to every, at least ten, two people in every household into a professional? Every, are you sure that everybody, that, that you could get at least an engineer from every house in Dominica? Mm -hmm. From every house in Dominica? When science, technology, engineering, and mathematics majors are scarce worldwide, mm -hmm. engineers are very, very few. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scientists are few. Only people with special minds can do that sort of degree. Right? And university professionals are few mm -hmm. worldwide. Mm, it's always easier to be a construction worker or something than being a university graduate. So why are you trying to 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 turn at least every two two, two people in every household in Dominica into an engineer, doctor, lawyer? Mm? Why not concentrate? Okay, all right. I recommend making the college free to everybody because in, at college you get a a well-rounded education. You take subjects. Right, and that's what that is sufficient to survive here in Dominica. But a university degree to become a professional, right, is for for, for a specific job. Okay, so what eventually will will happen is, right, the people, the few people already get with degrees, they come back, they can't get work. You understand? You oversaturating the market for professionals, drop by drop. That's what I'm saying. You college, what you're doing at the college, what they're doing at the college is good. There. Yeah. General subjects, geography, chemistry, physics, you get a rounded education. That's enough for somebody to understand policies, to discuss politics, geography, economics. That's enough. Right? But higher levels of education, right? It's only necessary if you plan to be a particular professional, like an engineer. A lawyer or a doctor and not everybody can be that that's what i'm saying so you can guarantee that yeah you can guarantee that mm -hmm. why is that so important mm -hmm. why is that so important why not concentrate on just making jobs and increasing the salaries of people to to raise their, their standards of living but of course you'd have to develop certain aspects of your your economy so money could flow into your country, tourism, forestry, these other things you are educate, you are um, concentrating on. Why concentrate so much on just university education and scholarships, scholarships? So that doesn't make any sense to me. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is my opinion. Yeah, and I'm not saying that I'm for blue party or red party. You understand? I like the color red. I wear it. I like the color blue. I wear it. Okay, I said from my videos that are merely intellectualizing okay right so this isn't a political attack made on the government or any government in the future to be there as a matter of fact this is just discussion a discourse a rational discourse that's that's all it is yeah, anyway my name is Silas Ivan Jad and I have a bachelor's degree in environmental engineering and I'm making this documentary called Living as an Educated Bum in the Commonwealth of Dominica. You see my hangout spot? You see my hangout spot? Yes. And I do have a university degree. 